Hi there, welcome to Southwire Spark Studio. I'm Alex Bunda coming to you virtually from the heart of Midtown Atlanta's Tech Square. As a human-centric innovation team for a leading manufacturer of wire and cable, our space was purpose-built to host a variety of interactions, from our teams exploring new business opportunities, co-creating solutions with teams from across our business, hosting customers, suppliers, or other key stakeholders, or just being a place to pilot, test, and share new technologies, trends, or insights. You'll notice each piece of furniture in our space was purposefully selected due to the modularity and ease of transition. From the wheels on our tables, to our digital displays, to our whiteboards, everything in the space is meant to adapt to the needs of our occupants, which vary a bit drastically from day to day, albeit differently in these times of COVID. However, we didn't just want to stop with the furniture. A smart office space was a requirement here to aid and enable the human-centric research that we conduct with our employees, customers, stakeholders, and market participants. In addition, our studio was designed to be a place for experimentation of technology transformations, be it UV sanitization, algorithmic Bluetooth computing, indoor wayfinding, or any interesting technologies that are enabled by a smart lighting system. Our Igor platform, powered by Cisco switches, drives over 60 lighting fixtures, powered shades, digital signage, Bluetooth beacons, light and presence sensors, and most recently, UV sanitization. For us, we see a lot of benefits in this system. Firstly, the system was easy to construct and modify. We found that due to low voltage and inherent safety of the system, we can run and terminate CAT cable and modify any of our device positions on our own. Secondly, the enhanced controllability of the system is really driven by PoE cable's ability to combine data and power into a single cable, making it simple to synchronize lights and program advanced behaviors. Automatic tuning of color temperature throughout the day can add energy to the normal afternoon lulls that we all, all experience. We can also program advanced behaviors like light harvesting and circadian rhythm. Thirdly, the uh, expandable ecosystem has really allowed us to continually add to our space. New sensors and utilities are constantly emerging for PoE systems, be it hardware-driven like the UV sanitization fixtures or software-driven like algorithmic compute for data-driven decision-making. Aside from these benefits, sustainability is a core tenant for us here at Southwire. So implementing a smart system was a no-brainer for us. In a conventional lighting system, there are AC to DC conversions at every fixture. And in our system, all of those conversions happen at a centralized point at the Cisco power sourcing equipment. It allows for fewer total conversions, thus resulting in energy savings. In addition, we can be conscious about our energy consumption by programming energy saving behaviors and using, da using data generated from our system to better understand how our employees and visitors interact with our space and drive global decision making across our entire footprint. For us, the biggest surprise in all of this was how many devices we'd end up integrating into our system. We spent many a days and nights here at Spark pulling additional cable and adding more devices. And we think, especially in the new nature of the office and the changing world of a post-COVID environment, we see now more than ever the need for smart, adaptable, collaborative spaces for teams to leverage their in-person interactions. 